The federal government of Nigeria has appointed key entertainment industry stakeholders into a committee set up to advise the government on ways to mitigate the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on the industry. Minister of Information and Culture Alaji Lai Mohammed disclosed that the Alibaba-led committee will offer ideas of how the government can mitigate jobs and revenue losses in the entertainment industry while suggesting the type of financing that is best for the industry considering the changes caused by the pandemic. The committee consists of Bonali Austin Peters, Charles Novia, Shegun Arize, Ali Jita, Baba Agba and many others. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Ali Baba, the head of entertainment COVID-19 committee. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, um, so first question is, what do you think informed the decision of the federal government selecting you and the others to make up this committee? Well, I think uh, in the light of um, this, the, the the minister's uh, presentation, one will see that uh, government is concerned about uh, the loss of revenue. It's uh, concerned about uh, the inactivity in the sector. But above all, government also wanted to, to understand how much the damage was. Uh, what is the, the value of a disruption? And uh, needed to have those uh, statistics and figures in helping them uh, go forward. So, so government wanted to to wrap their head around how much the damage is, and the cost of the damage, and how it has impacted the how the pandemic has impacted the the sector greatly. Okay, so just give us a little more insight on how this um, industry would then this in initiative rather would then actually impact the industry, like down to the grassroots, how does this affect everyone in the industry? In, in, in doing that, the government also knew that because the players of the sector, the leaders of the sector, the people who uh, are, are impacted by this pandemic would be suffering through the whole period, or the whole two months of uh, inactivity would have affected them. The government now decided that it would be good for a committee to be set up. And then this committee would look into uh, the core, so, so the critical mass of the people who have, uh, who have been affected by it. So, so the best way to put it is that the government is just on a fact-finding mission to know what the impacts are. And then using those impacts to know what palliatives should to work. Now, palliatives here in this sense is not cash. It could be, should there be a better handling? Should there be a loan for give, uh, forgiveness? Should there be no taxes paid? Should whatever palliative that government wants to be to ameliorate the problems and the, the to cushion the, um, the impact of pandemic is what they're, they're looking at. Um, it isn't uncommon to see the federal government initiatives fail at the implementation stage. Um, should there be any hopes for this to be different? Well, the way it is is that uh, we're on a fact-finding mission. When we find the facts, we will hand it over to the government. What they do with it, because we're going to now make recommendations. What we, what we, what we look at it, we then make recommendations. Our recommendations would be... We have seen that this disrupted so so and so business. But if this were done, this wouldn't have happened. We have seen that the photography business has been affected. If this were done, this would not happen. We have seen that this business... Uh, uh, let me give you an example of a business that we're talking about. Now, movies, people who were shooting at locations can't go to locations anymore to shoot because uh, people have to work together in a space. And when you, are in a, when you are shooting, you won't have your mask on. If not, there won't be a movie. You can't act in a movie with a mask, uh, except if the script says you're wearing a mask. And so people like that will be affected. The directors, the two people on the scene, can't play on the same set because of uh, distancing. Um, the director, the camera crew, welfare, everybody that works in that space can't work. And so it means that all that business is disrupted. The idea now is for us to look at all of this and then make recommendations to the government to say, this is what has befallen them. This is how it's affecting them. This is what would have sorted it out. I'll give you an example of uh, 
the Wimbledon. It was cancelled because of COVID. But you see, when it was cancelled, the insurance kicked in and they got paid for the cancellation of Wimbledon. But you see, a lot of our movies could do the same thing. It could be that before you start shooting a movie, the movie is going to cost you 150 million. You then budget that 15 million will be insurance for this movie. Whether it flies or doesn't fly, you still get paid your 150 million. So if you start shooting the movie and you put the movie in the market and you make 40 million out of the movie as against the 150 million that you planned, because you had already paid an interest, uh, a premium for, for the movie and insurance, you then get paid out what the difference that you have lost is. So all of those will be part of our recommendation. We also would then recommend that uh, uh, instead of people, because as we're looking into this now, we're going to see a major part of the problem that people have is uh, loans. People who took loans to build cinemas, are, now cinemas are not operating. Where will they get the money from? Is the okay. bank going to now say, okay, you're supposed to pay back the loan and so within these two months that you're not paying back the loan, um, government will then say write off the, or waive the two months of no interest. They, they, they make it a no interest two months. Okay. Those are the things that we're looking at.